Hello and welcome to the next session of interview preparatory course on top 50 SQL interview questions. Hope you are excited to solve another SQL question. So let's get started. In this session, we will discuss about cross join concept in SQL, where one of the easiest join among all joins present in SQL. In this type of join, in each and every row present in one table is added with all the rows in another table. That is cross product operation is performed. So in order to know the number of rows of the result set of this cross join simply m star n that is number of rows of one table that is left side table into the number of rows of right side table that is suppose you are taking you are joining you are using cross joining between two tables if one table contains seven rows and if other table contain four rows then the total number of rows would be 28 rows if you don't specify any condition that means if you perform cross join operation without specifying any condition then there. in that case number of rows will be m star n let's see this with an example so in the emp table we are having seven rows and in the dept table we are having four rows and our common column is dept number common column does not mean that it should have same name common column only mean that it should have compatible data type and column name can be anything for understanding purpose I'm taking DPT number which we, are, we are using same name see uh, what happens is that if you cross join these two tables that means cross joining in the sense I want to append the D, D name and location data to EMP table that means I want to join D name column and location column to EMP table as columns what happens we have how many employees in 10th department we have two employees in 10th department now what happens is that for the employee belonging to 10th department consider the employee king then what happens king will be joined with accounting in new york king will be joined with research dallas king will be joined with sales chicago king will be joined with operations booster so one employee one particular record is resulting four new rows one row will be joined with accounting and your next row will be research and dollars that means one row is joined with all the four row four rows for example if you consider department number 30 department number 13 again it will be joined with department number 10 data department number 20 data department number 30 data department number 40 data that means 20 each and every employee is associated with all the d names and all the locations that means department number 20 is not only associated with department number 20 like in the, in the case of inner join it is associated with D name and also location of 10th 20th and 30th department understood no? now right, let's write the query select E name D dot D PT number E dot D name sal purpose of joining is to take columns from D PT table right if I take the columns only EMP table then what is the purpose of using join so must take columns from other table without taking also you can do but it will not at all make sense from EMP E cross join D P T D that's it if I am not wrong 28 rows should be displayed because we haven't specified any conditions and we have 7 rows in EMP table and 4 rows in DPT table correct 20 row, 28 rows is displayed means each each employee each record is associated with the opposite four records of DEPT table that means one employee of 10th department will be present in accounting New York and all other D names and location for example if you specify condition where location equal to Chicago now what will happen you will get seven records why because where is uh, in which table location column is located DEPT table that means only one row of the DEPT table is associated with location Chicago and that one row that means location Chicago in the sense D names will be sales for location Chicago of I think 40 40th department that data will be added to all the seven employees of the EMP table that's why you got seven rows that means data filtering is done in DEPT table one row is picked in the DEPT table that is added to all the rows present in EMP table if you don't specify then each row will be added to each row now tell me what will be your output where DEPT number equal to 50 what will be your output here I have to get taken DEPT uh, select e name d dot if you really understood the concept of full join and if you really understood the concept of entire joins from the previous sessions you must tell the output of this program e name d dot DEPT number salary d name location from EMPE cross join DEPT D where department number number equal to 50 I'm taking D dot department number from the department number uh, DEPT table whenever there is department number column 50 then join and there is no 
at associated department number 50 in the DPT table. So in that case, what will be your output? Just post your output in the comment section. I am very interesting to know what you understood. That's all about the joints concept. If you have enjoyed the session and it is really helpful to you, don't forget to like the video. Also do share your questions with us in the comment section. Let's solve them together and help other geeks as well. Thanks for watching.